This is Econ in English. I'm Lewis Johnston, professor of economics at the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University. Economic literacy has never been more important than it is today, and we're here to help. Econ in English features accessible and easy to understand explanations for some of the most important topics in economics. In the process, we'll try to separate the sense and the nonsense in economics and the economy. Germany is so important in the European Union in general, and in the Euro in particular, because of World War I and World War II. In particular, the whole project to create a European Union rests on the idea of binding Germany as a political entity and Germany as a, an economy with the rest of Europe. So for instance, after the Second World War, there were competing plans for how to quote unquote deal with Germany once hostilities were over. One plan proposed by the American Treasury Secretary, Henry Morgenthau, was to create a pastoral Germany, eliminate all industry in Germany, and create, in a sense, an agricultural colony for the rest of Europe throughout what was then German territory. It was quickly shot down because Germany was the most important industrial player in all of Europe. Germany is especially important with the end of the Cold War. So in 1989, we had the breach of the Berlin Wall on November 9th. After that, Germany quickly reunified, in fact, much more quickly than anyone expected. By July 1, 1990, there was a single German state rather than West Germany and East Germany. Many people realized very soon after that that Germany was now going to be the most powerful economy in Europe. It probably was already, but with the addition of heavy industry in Eastern Germany, along with an educated, skilled labor force, Germany was set to dominate the entire European economy. One of the reasons countries want to belong to the European Union is because of the open borders and the common market that you get when you join. Now, there already had been a common market in a number of commodities. The idea was that on January 1st, 1992, the European economy would function like the United States economy. There would be no tariffs, no taxes, or anything across country borders. Just like in the United States, there are no tariffs across state borders or taxes of one state on another state's citizens. That went through and has been a big success. Soon after that, a group of European presidents and prime ministers met in a town called Maastricht in the Netherlands. The treaty they came up with was known as the Maastricht Treaty to try and create a framework that would continue the project of binding Germany into the rest of the European economy and European polity. The next step was to create a common monetary policy. There were two options considered at Maastricht. One was everyone could simply adopt the German currency, which was the strongest in Europe. It was known as the Deutschmark, and what you could do was everyone from the French to the British to the Italians could all simply get rid of their national currencies and adopt the Deutschmark as their own. It was too difficult politically to say, well, we British are not going to use the British pound anymore, we're going to start using the German currency. An alternative that the Europeans did adopt was to fix the value of all of their currencies relative to the German Deutschmark. So for example, the number of British pounds would stay fixed relative to the number of Deutschmarks. The number of French francs would stay fixed relative to the number of Deutschmarks. The problem with this arrangement was that currency speculators could make bets on whether the British, the French, the Italians, or later on the Swedish government would be able to maintain that exchange rate and they would start to speculate by either buying or selling these currencies. Finally, in 1999, a new currency was created and adopted by a majority of the European Union states. It was called the Euro. And the idea was, instead of having one currency fixed to the other, we will all just adopt a single currency. Mm -hmm.